Science Unscripted. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Science Unscripted. It's Connor here today. And Gabe. And the topic today is fubbing. And if you haven't heard that word before, I know another guy who has never heard that word before, and that is Gabriel Borud, sitting to my left here. I've seen it because you just pasted it on the wall. <laughs> I, I have no idea what fubbing means. What would you Enlighten me. What would, what would you guess fubbing is, if, if you had to guess? F fubbing? Yeah. Um, it, um, it, it, it means making fun of someone because of the way that they, because uh, they look like a, a fub. <laughs> and uh, let me change the question. Based on my behavior right now, what would you guess fubbing is? To fub? As a verb? Because I'm, 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 are you a fub, are you fubbing me? I'm fubbing me you right, you are getting fubbed hardcore right now. You're, you're leading me along without telling me what the heck is going on? I'm staring at my phone and basically... Oh, the, with that thing! Oh. I'm basically ignoring you. Or I'm kind of, I'm kind of conversing with you, but I'm, I'm also, half of my brain isn't. Gabe is phone getting... Phone and snubbed? There you go. You already guessed. It was going to be my first question for <laughs> a, a researcher who has just looked into what it means to fub and be fubbed. Her name is Christiana Butner. She's watching us. She's in the computer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she is. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to her right now. Science unscripted. Yeah. So my name is Christiana Butner. I'm uh, currently a researcher at the University of Basel in Switzerland. And my expertise is in social exclusion and um, digital technologies research. And did you coin this term to FUB? Is it your, your creation? I did not. So the term is, was coined in 2016 by a dictionary. And it's precisely what Karna said. So phone and snubbing making fubbing. <laughs> okay, so this, this is a really modern problem and because it's so modern, we don't know that much about it. I, I think everyone's experienced this. I've experienced this. But you've you conducted a an, an experiment or did some research on this. Can you can you tell us what you did? Uh, yeah. So um, there's a lot of research on that. Fubbing has very negative consequences, but no one really knows why people do it, and that's what we did an experiment on. My question before we even talk about the experiment is. Is this an act that I'm conscious of when I'm snub snubbing someone or phone snubbing? Phone snubbing someone or f f fubbing someone? Do I know I'm doing it, or do I do I know I'm doing it, or is it is it something that I accidentally do when I'm just looking at my phone and I don't realize that I'm not paying attention to the person that I'm I should be paying attention to? That's a very good question um, that we ask ourselves as well, and we define being fubbed as. Whenever the other person feels that they are ignored, then that's fubbing. But you could use your phone without meaning to fub. Okay. So yeah, if 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 Gabe asks me to look something up on my phone real quickly, then I, then he's not being fubbed. Exactly. But, okay. Okay. So you set up, as I understand it, you had something like a hundred thirty people originally in an experiment, and what what happened? How were you how were you able to figure out how fubbing affects people? So what we did is um, we stopped people coming from the cafeteria here at our university. And whenever people left in pairs of two, we asked them if they had lunch together and if they would be willing to tell us about that. And then we asked them if um, they fubbed during the lunch and also if they have been fubbed by the other person. And then we asked them a few other questions on how they perceive fubbing. And we tried to infer from that if if you feel more positively about fubbing, if you would do that more. And how many of the 130 couples had been fubbed? <laughs> or had one? So um, nearly all of them showed some fubbing. Um, but all in all, it's something that people are not very well aware of. So we really liked having um, both the report of I fubbed you and the other person saying, yeah, and I felt fubbed. I, I, I can't get over this word. I love this word. It's, it's so strong. I, I, I was fubbed today. And Yeah, what did they say, uh, the people who got fubbed, how did they describe how that felt to get fubbed? So, um, in general, from other research, um, we know that they feel ignored a lot, and that they also get annoyed a lot, and that it basically 
distances people from each other. So they perceive more distance between themselves and the person that fobs them. One thing I found really interesting about uh, about your experiment or about your research rather is that people there are people who are really acutely aware of when they're doing this to people to others if if I'm fubbing Gabe and then there seem there, there seem to be people who aren't aware of that or even think it's a it's a good thing can did I read that right Yeah exactly so what we ask people is one um how do they feel about fubbing in terms of is this a positive or a negative thing? And most people agreed that it's a negative thing. And then we also asked them if they think that it is socially acceptable to do that. And also people usually agree that it's not. You shouldn't do that. It's not acceptable to fub someone. And yet they still do it. When did you conduct this research? Um, we were very fortunate to just um, ask people that pre-COVID, so we could have the unmasked uh yeah two years yeah. ago at this point because i'm wondering if over time it's becoming more normal or, or, or more accepted because come on who doesn't have their phone on them always and you know that's what the, the, the point of these phones is that you look at them so it's it's probably becoming a more uh current uh, common occurrence yeah, we also find that it's somehow contagious. So if one person starts fubbing, the other is more likely to follow. Um, and that's not specific to fubbing, that's phone oh. use in general. And that or makes, yawning. Well, but that makes, uh, yawning is literally contagious, but that makes sense to me because if, look, if I'm going to get fubbed, my options are to sit here and get annoyed and stare at this person who's fubbing me. Or I could just fub the guy back or yeah. the girl back. Exactly. Fub you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, gender differences. I I think I I have an opinion on on who does it more. But what is your what did your research show? So our research and also research from others before show that women fub more, um, but we're not really sure why. There's some theories that just women use phones more. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, we didn't find that that they just use their phone more. There's also a theory that women would use the phone more to engage socially, so also in social interactions to use the phone more. Connor was going to say who he thinks fubs more, women or men. What, what do you I, think? I would have, I would have, my, my instinctual reaction would have been men. I, I think that f that's more of a cliche, kind of, the guy pulling out of his phone and ignoring, in, my, in the cliche version, his, his female partner across the table. Uh, but then, yeah, the more I thought about it, the conclusion I had was, was women. It just seems like um, if I compare myself to the women that I know, I communicate a lot less with my phone. There are a lot fewer um, text messages that I send in a given day than than the women I know. That just seems mm -hmm. to be, at least I, uh, that's anecdotal. Now, you study social interaction, is that right? Yes, um, specifically social exclusion. Social exclusion. And how does this phenomenon fit into... What else you know about how we exclude each other socially? Is this something that surprised you or, or yeah, how do you see it? Um, so one thing that social exclusion and fubbing have in common is that in general, um, people feel very negative about it. So fubbing is just one form of being excluded. You know, the other person ignores you by the means of looking at their phone. Um, so I see fubbing really as just one phenomenon of social exclusion. Um, but I find striking how uh, ubiquitous fubbing is becoming. And that's not the case for social exclusion. And do we human beings, do we ignore each other? Uh, norm is that just what we do? Do I <laughs> ignore the people that I'm around normally? Or is it because of these phones that, I, that I'm doing it? So exclusion has some very clear evolutionary um, purposes. For example, you could exclude someone because um, they don't really fit in your group, um, they would be a burden to the group, or because they behaved in a way that you don't want them around. For example, they broke a norm, um, so you would exclude them. But there's also incident incidental um, exclusion. So just forgetting about someone, not really meaning to exclude them. And I think fubbing is usually more of this unintentional exclusion. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, my concern is, it. I, I, I see this, I feel like I see this quite a bit, where you have a group of people 
and one person is fubbing the rest. Or often um, one person has one uh, headphone in, right? And the rest of the group is talking to them, but that person is kind of in the conversation, but they're kind of hanging out of the conversation. And they're actually the cool one in that regard. It seems like it. it, it there's not a social cost. There's a social, a social benefit to, uh, to being the fubber. Uh, because you're so important, that other person is is less important than you, uh, by implication. How do we, how do we stop that? I think it's a really rude thing, a really rude thing for people to do to each other. I hate being fubbed. Um, do you, do I ever fub you? So you can course, finish your question in a second. But have you ever been fubbed of by course me? I've been fubbed by you. Uh, every I have fubbed you. I try not to do it. Um, you don't you don't fub often. But get to your question. Sorry. Thank you uh, for making me feel better about my fubbing. Uh, what do we do? What You've been thinking about this now for a couple of years. What's the best thing to say when you're being fubbed? Do you just, do you just call them out right away? Hey, I, please don't do that. What, what do you do? So one thing that we thought um, might be a good strategy to avoid fubbing is talking to people about how much they value the social interactions that they have. There's great research in clinical psychology that if people value what they're doing, um, that's very beneficial to them. Um, but we didn't find that in situations where you value more what you have, you fub less. Um, and we haven't tried this, but I think that, uh, for example, Connor, if you would tell Gabe, I really enjoy talking to you just without the phone um, between us. Could you maybe Gabe, not do that? I really enjoy talking to you just not with the phone between us. Could you maybe try doing that? Put the phone away. How do I respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> so. I think no, no, um, no. Seriously, I, I will not. I will try, and not fub you. The first step is but awareness. That, the first step is how awareness, do I become right? aware? Because now we know this word. That's what I'm thinking. Is I, I to go back. I love the word. Whoever picked this word did a great job. It just it's a fun word to say. And I wonder, is is that maybe enough? Would, do you think that would work, Christiana, just to be like, oops, fub alert? I think or, so. Uh, or maybe like an information campaign, like don't fub all over the streets and, and, Bus and buildings and, and pu in public spaces. Would you fub your friend? What do you so, think? Sorry, these are just... <laughs> no, no problem. Um, so there's this one initiative um, that I haven't looked up in a while, but it's basically just stopfubbing.com. And they have this cute little symbol of um, a person looking at their phone and the other person standing next to them. And if you put that in a restaurant and just made people aware of, this doesn't feel good if it happens to you, maybe try not to do that to other people, that might help. But I don't know. I haven't um, done that research yet. Science Unscripted. And that was Christiane Büttner talking to us from the University of Basel in Switzerland about fubbing. I was serious when I said that I I won't I won't do that to you anymore. I I, I really I I it's 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 not a good feeling to know that you're doing it because I know how annoying it is you're not and bad. possibly you're, hurtful. No, you're not bad. You're not bad on the scale of like there are a lot of people who do but this. But from a time lot. to time, I do do it. You can be honest with me. Yeah, but everyone everyone does it, and I I really do think I don't want to do it. <laughs> I I think most people shouldn't want to do it. And, and again, the first step really is awareness, right? You need a word to attach to a behavior. In this case, a very, a very funny word that just sounds great to say, um, in order to become, be able to even talk about it in the first place. Mm -hmm. And we all know on our list of friends, I have, I, there are people I know who are really bad about this and it has actually always annoyed me. Hmm. I, I, I find it very rude. In fact, I can't, we accept this now because in the last 10 years, we've all put one of these in our pocket, but what would have a hundred years ago, 50 years ago, 20 years ago, there was, there was no equivalent. That would have been, if you'd pulled out a paperback novel, you know, you and I are sitting at a table and you're trying to talk to me and I go back to my book or even worse, like a notepad. And then you start like writing things. Yeah. You're out of the conversation. It's a complete rejection of your interlocutor. And, and what, what does it imply? Are, are, are you writing, are you writing something about me? No, it's just like what are, at, what the are you least, at the very least, you're less important than something else. You're not the focus of my attention. There are other things that matter to me more than you and the words that you're saying right now. It's a, it's a complete rejection of your, of your, of your, not your whole person. You are more important to me than whatever I'm looking at when I, when I fub you. You're more important to me than this thing will ever be, Gabriel Borod. And I... <laughs> 
<laughs> on we that gotta, note. We got to stop. This is it. Yeah, this is, this is uh, who knows where this will go. Um, to all of you out there, if you have anything to say on fubbing, we would love to hear it. You can email us, su at dw.com. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, it's a new thing. We're all, we all have to get used to this idea, and uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Science Unscripted.